This video tutorial is about simulating impact on soils using Anura 3D. This problem follows the tutorial manual chapter number 8. The objectives of this video are Apply initial velocities on the material points Use the moving mesh feature To record reaction forces To use the rigid body algorithm and to create an axisymmetric domain using 3D cylindrical boundary conditions. We are going to solve two problems. The first one is a long wall impacting the soil, and we are going to use a 2D plane strain conditions. For the second, it consists of a free fall cone, and we are going to use 3D axisymmetric conditions. In both problems, the cross section is shown in this figure. And this table shows the coordinates of the problem for an easy definition of the geometry using GID. We are going to start defining the geometry of the problem. And we are going to use the table that is shown in the screen to define that geometry. So do click on create line and then go to the command bar below and start inputting the coordinates of the problem using a space to define point. For instance, for point number one, that would be zero, space, negative one. And keep doing this until you complete the geometry. When you finish inputting the points, you will have a geometry like this. Now what you have to do is just close open point. So do click on create line again and click on the points. It will ask you if you want to join. Click on join. And the geometry will be completed as you see. At this stage, it's recommended to save the problem. So do click on Save JD Project and save your project in a folder that you will remember. I will call this Impact Base because we're going to use them later for creating the 3D problem as well. Click on Save. Now we need to create the surfaces for the problem. An easy way to do that is to go to Geometry, to Create, go to Norms Surfaces, and click on Automatic. It will ask you to enter the number of lines that defines a surface. Four is, four is OK. So click on OK. You will see that not all the areas are created. And then the number will increase to 5. Do click on OK. And keep doing this until you see that the remaining surface has been created as well. At this point, the geometry for the 2D plane strain has been created. What we need to do now is go to Data, Problem Type, and select Anula 3D 2020. And what we are going to do now is to save this as impact version 1. So do click on files, save as will be impact to the version 1. First step is to assign the material properties. Do click on Anura, materials. So first we're going to create the soil model. Click on rename material. Select dry material. We are going to use an initial porosity of 0 0.5, density of 2650, okay, not 0 0.6. And let's choose more column. For poison ratio, we're going to use 0 0.33, Jones modulus of 5000. We are going to assign a little cohesion 
and an effective friction angle of 40. We're going to leave the effective day latency and tensile strength in zero. Then do click on assign surfaces and select the surface you want to assign this soil model. Now let's create a new material. We're going to call this impacting body. Select dry material for the initial porosity. This is going to be zero. For the density, it's going to be 3,500. And we are going to use 0 0.5 of Kano. And then assign this material to surfaces. And select the cone area. To check that the materials have been assigned correctly, do click on draw and then do all materials. And this shows you that the materials have been assigned correctly. Now we're going to assign an initial velocity to the material points belonging to the impacting body. So we click on Annular 3D and go to Initial Conditions. And in Initial Conditions, select 2D Initial Velocity on Material Points. Specify the velocity on any direction, in this case the Y direction. And we are going to choose 5 meters per second. So negative 5 will be an impacting velocity of 5 meters per second. Do click on Assign and select the area where you want to apply this velocity. Finish to check, draw, colors. And you see that the velocity has been correctly applied. calculation is finished, we can open the results using Paraview. Select the Vectoric Strain Solid, then change the scale from 0 to 0 0.1. Scale, and then you can play the animation. Now we can try one of the variants. This time we'll use the rigid body formulation for the impacting body. So first of all, let's save this as a new file. Call this version 2. To click on Annular 3D and then on Materials, and for the impacting body, click on Rigid Body. The following boxes ask you for some constraints of the movement of the body. For example, in this case, this wall is restricted on the X direction, so we should put this value equal to 1. That will indicate that this wall won't move on the X direction. For the Rigid Body to work properly, contact algorithm should be applied. So 
click on Anula 3D, go to Contact Properties, choose 2D, Body Content, Contact, and in Material Name, write the name of the material for which this rigid body is going to be in contact with. In this case, this is the soil. In, in order to simulate fully rough conditions, we are going to use a very high friction angle here. So I'm going to use 4 to enforce fully rough conditions between the wall and the soil. This is just to compare this solution with the elastic solution we did before without contact algorithm. Click on the sign and select the wall area. Now do click on calculation data. Go to contact and apply contact. And change the scale again if necessary. And you can compare the solution from both the elastic penetrating wall versus the rigid wall on the right. Results are very similar, as you can see.